What do you think you're doing? I thought you brought me home to make you feel good. Young man. Jay. Call me Jay. Jay, I would give you 50k in cash in the morning. I don't need your services. Okay? So get off my bed. I use the couch. Why? Pardon? Why do you want me to leave your bed? Don't you find me attractive? I Don't you? would not have intimacy with a man I just met. Okay. Moreover, a man I know nothing about. So, get your ass off my bed. Use the couch. Okay. Um, thank you for the money. She's leaving your bed, that's all. It's morning. Oh, sorry I overslept. Here's the 50,000 as promised. Thank you. Why are you... Never mind. Just wear your shirt and leave. Prostitute? 
o rahatlıyor. Come, I'll drop you. Good morning, baby girl. Good morning. 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 Good Okay. Sam? See your boyfriend? Let's see. Boy Yes, John. I'm on my way. See you 30 minutes. All right. Bless you. How was your night? Fine, and I bless God. Hope you slept well. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm running late. I know, I know. But you, you can't go without having a bite. <laughs> you know. Hmm. Job until no job, no luck. Look at me, I've been on this town since morning, seeking for vacancies. I've been to see all of this like a spiritual problem. Spiritual what? Spiritual, spiritual what? Broken. There is nothing spiritual about what is happening to us. Nothing. 
The country is just wanting a good state. That's all. That's all. There's nothing spiritual going on. Yes, I know that right now the country is not in a good shape. But people are working now. And people are not working. Look, I am tired of Ray, Ray, haven't you read that unemployment is projected to trend at 23% by 2024? And by 2025, it's going up to 44 45%. What we need to do is to find an alternative source of income. Let's do something, even if it's something meanwhile. Let's get something to do. That to sit down and be waiting for office job all the time, which is not coming by the way. It's not working. Girl, you really need to take a break. You work too much. Sam, I kind of support Laurie on this one. You have been working since the beginning of this year with no breaks. You need to take a vacation or something. But I'm all good, girls. What's the fuss all about? Sam, you won't listen to us, Sabi. Okay, okay, fine. Maybe sometime later I'll take a break, okay? Janet, how far now? How's your husband? Kind of traveled as usual? <sighs> Trying to change the topic as usual. Well, my husband is fine. And yes, he traveled. <laughs> wait, wait. You won't ask about me. Uh-uh, calm down. I was coming to you. Besides, we all know that you're not married or in a relationship. Says who? Ah, uh, but we all know now. Or have you gotten a good uh, new guy? Uh, not, not yet. I'm just literally taking my time. But that's by the way. What's the plan for this weekend? Janet, is your husband out of town this weekend? Yes, he is. He has an executive meeting in Ghana. Perfect. What are you planning? We are going to be having a ladies' night on Friday. We are going to paint this town red. Um, I like the sound of that. Sam? Say something now. Well, something like... You are coming with us. Okay, but... No buts. So we have a date this Friday. Y'all, she better dress the kill because we will paint this down so red that the men will hear it. Uh, you, my dear friend, will be single for that night. <laughs> hey, please, I'm married, babes. I just dozed off on a wooden bench. When she opened her eyes, she was surprised to say, I feel good. I feel good. What is the wrong? What is the wrong? Why are you happy like this now? I feel good. What's your fault? Oma, I have just found a perfect solution to our supper problem. You found jobs for us. Job girl. No, I just finished speaking with my friend, the one who is based in Dubai. Okay. And um, he led me into the kind of business he does, which changed his life. What kind of business are you talking about? Um, rounds. <laughs> what? Rounds as in a hookup. I know, I, I. I still don't get what you're talking about, Ray. Jason, you and I have been having sex over the years for free. And I think at this point, it is right we monetize it. You know how my exes never leave because of how good I am on. Right? Are you... Are you saying that we should become gigolos like male prostitutes? Uh -huh, now. Exactly. This is what my friend does in Dubai. Do you understand? He even started started here in Nigeria before he traveled. Wait, are you all right? No, are you all right? See this guy. You sound as if you have a choice. Soon, the landlord is going to show his face. There's no food in this house. And nothing's working. Like I said, you don't have a choice, so you don't. So you are looking me in the eyes 
and you're suggesting to me that we should go out there and sleep with women for money. That's what you're saying. Jason, I really don't see anything bad on this. We're trying to use what we have to get what we want. My friend also told me that there are too many rich women out there waiting for our services. First class graduates? There you go again. Every now and then, first class, first class. Look at us. For the past five years, we've been job hunting, but all to no avail. First class materials. So far, they tire you. I am tired. Jason, you just have to think about this. It is just sex. Sex. Think about doing this kind of business. How, you, how can we even call that business? If you would think about doing this kind of thing, where do we find the kind of people you're talking about? Good question. Good question. Tell me about shame. Listen to me, brother. Do you know that we really don't have anything to lose in other person? We're gonna make cool money out of it. After all, it's just sex. Ray, sex is not just. Well, we are trying to monetize it just to add a little value to it. That's what I'm talking about! Girl, you look smoking hot! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Girl, you look so good! Thank you! Uh, you're, not late. you're not late! Wait, babe. This is not amongst the gowns that we bought, Abby. I said it because this one looks so... You snatched everything! 
Please, you can wind up. I don't want you to. I thought I was late. No, you're not. You're not. Samko. Oh. She should just be down in a minute. But you look good too. Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Now this is sexy. Okay. Uh -huh. Our baby girl is looking good. <laughs> oh my god. You look Chloe to Janet. Did you tell your husband you're looking extra hot tonight? The last time I checked, it's ladies' night, and whatever happens in ladies' night stays in ladies' night. <laughs> and that's on period. <laughs> Oh, babe. Oh, we're going to have fun. <laughs> fun. You're going to shake this voice. <laughs> <laughs> you guests are looking gorgeous tonight. Oh, Auntie Gloria. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking this workaholic out tonight. It's my pleasure, Auntie Gloria. <laughs> All right, um, what time am I supposed to expect two girls back? Oh, um, Auntie Gloria, I think you should just go to bed and sleep because the night is still Ooh. young. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you later. All Bye right. Yeah. You guys should have fun. Yeah, we're we'll Bye-bye. Love you, baby. Love you too. Be safe, okay? Bye. Bye. Love you, guys. Wait. Oh, I had so much fun! <laughs> bro! Bro! Like... I must say, it was a beautiful idea to come out tonight. I told you that you were going to enjoy yourself! I had fun! I don't know what you like. Ah, ah. What are you home, okay? This night, the night is still very young. We are heading to another club. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies. Sam, please pause. Hmm? Which other club? Sorry. Another club now to go and enjoy ourselves. This is the time that club even starts. Mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> Hi, it's you. Hi. Hi. Uh, my my friend and I will love the way you you guys dance inside. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, I'm Ray. Here's Jason. Oh, I'm Laurie, she's Sam, and she's Janet. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. I would like to cut this conversation. We're leaving. Uh, um, <laughs> um, um, guys, please, uh, um, I would love to discuss something with you guys. Go on. Um, uh, mister, it's obvious that you don't have anything to say. Girls, can we go? Yeah. I'll do you guys that. need men? Huh? Yeah, do you need... Excuse me? Yeah, do you need... Men. Excuse you? We are call guys. Uh, call oh, men, what? whatever you call it. We are professional bees <laughs> and stuff. Very wait, well. wait. You mean gigolos? Yes. We are good at that. Like, your satisfaction <laughs> is our priority. Mm. We use every part of our body very well. My God. Now that's interesting. I like Laurie. the sound of that. How much do you charge for your services? Laurie! Um, um, 50,000 naira all night. <laughs> Wait, 50,000 naira for all night? Yes, 50,000. Oh, I like you. I really like you. Sorry. Oh, I like you too. No, don't worry me. Look, there's no harm in just having some pleasure for the night, a plaything for the night. Uh, what, what's funny? Janet, what's funny? Sorry, mm -hmm. we don't need your services. Says who? I am very much interested in your services. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 Laurie. Okay. No. Okay. Thank you. It's just for tonight. Exactly. And I'm sure you've not had intimacy in a long time. Mm -hmm. Are you? I am sure not paying for it. Are you insane? I can't even believe you're taking her side. No, she's making sense. <laughs> Tell her, little girl. You leave just one. So why don't you use that time and have fun, enjoy your life. As for me. I'm going home for a night of pleasure. <laughs> 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 Yo, 
young man, it's better you go home. Hmm? Hey. Look, I... I really need this money. I, I know it sounds crazy, but... Please. Can you take me home with you? <laughs> I, I, I am... I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty good. I use my body parts very well and you will not regret it. Like, just anything you think you need, I will. Let's go. Is everything okay? I'm sleeping. Shh. Bring the bus down. Just Are you sure it's okay? A man home. Trust him. beautiful body, right? You like it? Of course I do. Thank you. <laughs> so why don't you come? Show me something. You like? Anything. Are you sure you're ready for me? Yes. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. So why don't you come show me something? Yes, I am. Are you sure? Use your bathroom, please. Just don't get it dirty. Sure.
What do you think you're doing? I thought you brought me home to make you feel good. Young man. Jay. Call me Jay. Jay? I would give you 50k in cash in the morning. I don't need your services. Okay? So get off my bed. I use the couch. Why? Pardon? Why do you want me to leave your bed? Don't you find me attractive? I don't you? would not have intimacy with the man I just met. Okay. Moreover, the man I know nothing about. So, get your ass off my bed. And use the couch. Okay. Um, thank you for the money. She's leaving your bed, that's all. It's morning. Oh, sorry I overslept. Here's the 50,000 as promised. Thank you. Why are you... Never mind. Just wear your shirt and leave. To prostitute? 
or a hustler you are. Come, I'll drop you. Good morning, baby girl. Good morning. Good morning, I am. Good morning, man. Good morning, young man. How are you? Uh, fine, man. Okay. Sam? I see your boyfriend. I see boy what? He's not there. Mm, okay, no problem. What would you like to have when you return? Anything ah, interesting. Love you! Bye bye! <laughs> See what your life has been reduced to. An ordinary prostitute. What is we got this? We got call up. You brought him home? Babe, 
Wakey, wakey. Babe. Wake up. Hi. Good afternoon, pretty. Wow. Good afternoon. It's already afternoon. Oh, God. I can't remember the last time I slept this long. I guess the sleep was needed. Mm -hmm. I brought you food. I couldn't find much in your fridge, so I made what I could with what I saw. I don't understand. You mean you, you made me food like you cooked? You shouldn't have. It's nothing really. I love to cook. Really? That's nice. <laughs> um, let me have a taste. You like it? It's really good. Don't make me fall in love with you. And it will be my pleasure to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> Just mm. drop it, drop the food out. I wanna, I wanna say something. Oh, what is it? Would you really wanna do this again? I mean, I mean all of this. I would love to, without a second thought. <laughs> Feels like I've known you like for ever. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> <laughs> like it? Okay. So what I'll just water. Okay. She still hasn't answered her calls. I'm so worried you think he has killed her. Killed what? Why are you thinking like this? What else am I supposed to think? She hasn't been taking her calls for hours. It's me sure she's safe. I'm sure she's fine. Just calm down. Probably she's just sleeping or something. Look, stop thinking what you're thinking. I'm sure she is fine. Just calm down, okay? For what? Janet, Laurie is fine, okay? <sighs> Look, probably we'll just be calling her until she picks. I'm sure she's fine, just calm down, alright? <sighs> Thank God, Laurie, are you okay? But why were you even calling me like that, Seth? Huh? Because I was worried about you. You went home with a strange woman. Well, uh, I lost track of time. That was what happened. You lost track of time. Okay, now. So, um, why did you come here? Is the, they call me the police me up and that would happen? Oh, are they police you? Are they police you? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, now. Nah. No worries, and I mean to stress myself. Hey, I better call you see, come back to see. You see that girl? She was too sweet. Very sweet girl. You know, I never knew one could find love in a hopeless place. Find love in a hopeless place? What are you talking about? I am trying to say that love found me. Love found you? Yes. Lori found me. The girl that took you home last night? Yeah, yeah. What exactly are you talking about? It was love at first sight. Lori is just a sweet girl. She's just everything I like and love in a woman. Have you gone insane? Is there something wrong with your mind? I don't understand you. Well, uh, I am serious. I am in love with her. You are in love with her? The girl that took you home last night, hired you as a sex toy, slept with you. Paid you for sleeping with you. You are in love with her. 
Okay, let me just warn you. I don't think I can continue with this whole business of being a Ron's boy anymore. I'm done with it. Okay? Well, me too. You too. What's going on, guy? Well, um, I found love and I want to become a better man. That's just it. Wow. Interesting. So, what made you come to your own conclusion? Sam, that lady called Sam, she made me feel like a nobody. She made me feel like trash. I felt disgusted about my own self. I felt like a nobody. <laughs> and I never, ever would find myself in that position, ever. I'm done with this business. Well, she was just opposite of mine. Mine was just too sweet. Good for She's you. She's such an angel. Good for you. <laughs> so that means we're going back to looking for jobs, right? It continues. Good. Let me go change that, okay? I'm not even going to see myself going on the street and standing there being like a prostitute for women to come and be picking me. Looking at me like I'm, I'm some kind of object. I don't understand how you feel about that. Now you're telling me you found love. Found love in the person that paid you to sleep with you. Just like that. It's sex that is clouding your feelings. That Jigulu. We talked and I said to you, quit. Wait. Are you actually serious about this plan? Not just. No, girls, that guy is my dream guy. He will make me food. I mean, no man has ever come for me. Wait, so because he made you food, becomes that it made him that he's your missing rib. Please, just focus. Are you hearing me? Don't allow that guy to just take your money away. Because the Jigolo? It's always a chico look. What about him? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. So you just took him home like that? Yes. I just felt it was the right thing to do, right? To help him. I just wanted to help him. I couldn't leave him out there. I did nothing with him. I just sent him off in the morning with his 50k. Whoa. Just imagine. Look, girls, I need to get back to work, okay? I love you, girls. This law will never change. What was the reason for him resigning? That doesn't make any sense. <sighs> and he left a lot undone. I can't, I can't do this right now. You know what? Call him. As soon as he picks up, transfer the call to me. Do it now! This is absurd. How does one just resign just like that? <sighs> oh. Thomas, how many times have I told you to knock before you enter? I think I've said that a thousand times. Well, um, I'm sorry, Miss Sam. Samantha. Miss Samantha. Uh, <laughs> Samantha, that's, that's too long if you ask me. I didn't ask you. I'm telling you. Samantha. I am called Sam by people close to me. But I am close to you. I do everything for you. 
I make work easy for you. I don't have time for this. Or the energy, okay? Did you call the PA? Uh, your PA that quit? No. Your PA that quit. Can you please be serious? Well, yes. Um, I did call him, but he didn't pick at first. So after a few seconds, he sent this text message to my phone. Look at, look at. Uh, what Thomas, stand up. Why is he avoiding me this much? This is crazy. Well, well, we sound. You found him the jobs for us. You know that if you were not so much in love with him, my friend's one who is based in Dubai. Shut up your mouth. Shut up! You don't know what you're talking about. Well, we all saw how nice you were to him. Did he tell you that his very serious girlfriend was usually brings lunch to you when you are away from the office. Thomas, leave my office. Thomas, leave my office. Miss Sam. Do you have a... Uh... I am your husband. I know, I am your husband. See, whether you like it or not, I am your husband. Do you have any applicants for the position of the for the company? I asked you a question. Well, I'm sorry, Miss Sam. I um, I don't think so, but I'll check. Do check, and if you find anyone, please call them back for an interview. You know what I look out for in a PA? Make sure they have those qualities before you present them to me. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Leave. So, uh, what you're trying to tell me is that he didn't give you any reason for his resignation? Nope. You see what I told you? I told you that liking that guy is bad luck. I wonder what she even saw in him. Come on, don't blame her. Now look at the truckload of work he left for you just because she trusted him to handle things the way you will. First of all, I didn't love him. I liked him. I'm sorry, that's past, that's gone. Oh, my headache now is Thomas. Thomas? Yeah. The son of your late father's best friend. That one. Like every day he's always coming up with new drama. He's always frustrating me, acting weird. The other day he said, I love you. <laughs> and now the new thing is, he's, uh, he's now asking me to marry him. <sighs> <laughs> it's not funny <laughs> now, girls. It's not funny. Hapa. No, it's funny. It's actually funny. It's not funny. Like it not because my dad asked me to keep him deliberately. Hmm. And of course, he's good with his job. See, eh? I could not fire that guy, Titi. <laughs> he's just a nuisance. Aww. But you know, if you look at it very well, that guy might just be a missing rebel. Larry, I will slap you. <laughs> missing rebel. <laughs> I better clean your mouth. Anyway, that's by the way. Sam. Uh-uh, you have already offended me, didn't you? Sorry. Just when I just start betting you. <laughs> <laughs> so please, I'm serious. I need a favor from you. Yeah, sure. Go on. Okay. My husband's sibling, the last born, is looking for a place to do her IT. Okay. My company is not accepting IT. Lawrence, too. So I decided to ask the CEO herself. <laughs> Stop flattering me. Anyway, what is she study? Management. Hmm, that's nice. I could see where I could fit her in. 
Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Tell her to start on Monday. Oh, man, that's my goal. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What do you mean by that's your goal? What about me? You are my girl. Why are you jealous? I jealous. <laughs> I just can't continue like this. I am tired. Huh? So, what do you want us to do? I don't even know. I'm tired. What do you want us to do now? Huh? Kill ourselves? Because we don't have work? Guy, calm down now. Ah uh ah. -uh. Excuse calm me. Calm down. <laughs> Hello, babe. <laughs> I'm fine, and you too? Oh, tonight? All right, sure. All right, I'll be with you soon. Okay, bye. When you take your babe? My lorry baby now. <laughs> Flory, the girl that took you home the other night. You guys are still talking. I'm, a, I'm in love with that girl. What? You know, um, she called to say we have an event tonight. So, after roaming the streets the whole day in search for a job, looking for a job, you go out tonight. Are you not tired? Jason, these are the things we do for love. Look at this one, my first arena by the whole belly. If you're going to come back here, yeah? I know what you like, I'll buy for you. Yeah? <laughs> hey, good. But well, on a serious note, I'm tired. Sorry, no stress. I'm tired. Get out there. Baby, you know you steamed down, right? I did? Mm-hmm. I think it's stress. What's stressing you? You know you haven't really told me anything about you. Well, let me, because uh, I was waiting for you to ask me for us to get to know about ourselves. I didn't want to go so fast, so I don't spoil all we started. Okay, so now I'm asking, who is Ray? Well, um, I'm Ray Madu from Anambra. You're from Anambra? Mm -hmm. I'm from Anambra too. What a small, small world. world. It's actually a really small world. Please go on, go on. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm the first son. Mm -hmm. I have two siblings. Dad is late. Mom is in the village. I'm a graduate of Unilag, where I study international relations, first class material. A first what? You have a first class, then what? Oh, because of what I was doing, Lori. Myself and my friend Jason, we've been job hunting for the past five years. No luck. We graduated at the age of 25. Now we are 30. Still no luck. Oh, that's, um, that's really sad to hear. I mean, you should be living a very comfortable life with your degree. Okay, here's what we're going to do. You're going to send me your CV and I'm going to forward it to some people that I know and we'll see where we go from there. You're going to do that for me? Of course I will. <sighs> Baby. <laughs> Thank you. I love you and I'm not joking. Mm -hmm. I love you too and it's really, really crazy that I do love you. Well, I'm Lorita Ipe, mm -hmm. but everyone calls me Lori. Lori. <laughs> I am the only child of my parents. Wow. Yeah, and I live in... Thomas, how many times have I asked you to knock before entering? I am so sorry, ma'am. I forgot. What is it? Well, it is about the thing you asked if we have an 
applicant for the job. So do we have any? Yes, just one. Just one? Yes, but he fits in uh, everything you want. Do you want me to call him in for an interview? How old is he? 30. <sighs> That's old. Okay. Tell him to come in for an interview. Today or? Tomorrow, of course. I've closed for today. All right. That's great. I'll just pack up then. Excuse me. Pack up for... You said we have closed for the day. Thomas. I. I have closed for today. I. Not we. So, get out there and work. Also, tell him to come in as early as 9 a.m. Am I clear? Yes, Miss Sam. to come for an interview tomorrow at 10 a.m. Are you for real? <laughs> Are you serious? I'm not joking. I am so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Bro. Thank you. God. <laughs> wait, wait, no, no. But, uh, which company is that? Surprisingly, I don't even know the name of the company. All I heard was, come tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. and this is the address and that's all I care about, bro. I just want the job. I am so happy for you, brother. Thank you. Bro. Thank you. Bro. Thank you. Oh, but hey, hey, hey. how about that? How about with your girl, your lover girl? You're out in last night. <laughs> What's up? Well, um, I will start on work on Monday. What? You hear me? How? She said she spoke to someone on my behalf. Fortunately, my services were needed. What? Bro! Congratulations, man! I am more than happy. What? Thank you, thank you. Man. Thank you so much. What? That girl must be your good luck charm. You can say that again, bro. What? Yes. No, bro, I'm going to man. So what were you going to tell me about this now? Well, I was going to tell you before now, before you broke your own good news to me. Uh, okay, I forgive you. I forgive you. Uh, you know, I have this feeling that this interview that you're being called for, you're going to get this job. Amen. Oh, amen. 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 So, don't you think this calls for celebration? Abby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, you know what you do? Why don't you iron fast or probably leave it for now? Let's go to that Mukuba and have some water. You mean that bad? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Just oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, oh, yeah. Just put on, put on something nice. Just, just be fast, be fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Miss Sam, you go. It's almost 11 a.m. Where is the applicant? Well, Miss Sam, um, we didn't sleep in the same house, so there is possibly no way that I would know. Was that answer for me? Will you just go and do a follow-up? On? Oh, my God. Thomas, do you intentionally do these things? Like, why do you like stressing me? Why? Miss Sam, I don't intentionally do these things. I just... Do you want me to call the applicant? Mm -mm. Call me. Will you get out and go and call him? So we should be coming down sometimes. Sorry. Did you say something? No, I'm not at all. What kind of human being is this Bikuno?
Good morning, ma'am. Um, my name is JC. I'm here for the interview. I'm sorry I'm late. I was held up in traffic. I'm so, so sorry, ma'am. You know, it's really bad to come for an interview very late. First bad impression. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I live far away. I should have woken up early to come. I, 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 it won't happen again. Have you said? Okay, ma'am. Your CV looks quite impressive. Have we met before? Wait, wait, wait. Chigolo, right? That was my first time. So you recognize me but pretended not to. I'm sorry. You must have a crazy shadow. I mean, Jigolo at night, corporate man during the day. I only did prostitution once. That night was my first time. But after the way you treated me, I decided to quit and find myself a proper job. Continue my search for a proper job. Hmm. That means I'm a good influence. But still, I'd like to know how you plan to manage yourself. I mean, coming from outskirts to the city. Don't you have friends that live within the city? No, ma'am. I, I don't. So how do you plan to manage coming from outskirts to the city? I will manage, ma'am. Please, I will wake up early. I told you I will be here on time every single day. Okay, fine. You have the job and you can start tomorrow. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I will not disappoint you. No problem. Thank you. You can collect your appointment letter from the front desk. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. What a small world. <laughs> so, how was his reaction? You should have seen him. You wish the ground would open up and swallow him. <laughs> <laughs> but Sam, you're so mean. I mean... You should have just pretended. Since you knew he was pretending. Do you know that I was actually playing along? But at some point, I just couldn't. I had to let him know that I knew all along who he was. It's just a small world. Like... Speaking of which, I'm... If I remember clearly, you offered that guy a job, right? Ray. Sam. His name is Ray. Okay. Ray. <laughs> well, uh, I didn't have to do much though. I mean, his qualifications are actually mind blowing. It makes me wonder why this guy was out of work for five whole years. Were his employers blind or something? Same thing with his friend. For real? His qualifications are very good. That's why I had to give him a start of salary of 200k. That's not bad. Nice. <laughs> As if transportation will not finish it. How do you mean? Do you know this guy comes from work every day from the outskirts of the city? Wait. And he intends to be coming to work every day from that far? <laughs> He's a hard worker. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's going to be very tough on him. In all honesty, it's going to be mad tough on him. But Sam, you know you can help him, right? <laughs> How? I mean, you and Auntie Gloria live in this big house all alone. So? Your boy's quarters. You can tell him to leave there. Stay in the boy's quarters. Larry, you want me to house a total stranger? I don't understand. But you are willing to do the same for Chan. Yeah, exactly. Uh -uh. Please don't bring John into this. Okay, fine. Sam, just help this guy. Besides, he'll be working closely with you. Mm -hmm. And you don't expect him to be going that far after walking to midnight. 
You and I know how tedious your work could be. Just help him. I support. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Both of you? I cannot. I will not house a total stranger. Hmm. Can we change the topic? Fine. Thank you. I didn't send for you, Thomas. Okay, ma. It means you should leave. Why? Are you okay? Get out of my office. Um, have you been briefed about the few meetings that we have later today? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Thomas briefed me on uh, everything. He gave me the details and uh, I have everything ready. So be ready in 30 minutes. Okay, ma'am. Sweetheart. Good evening. God bless you always, my love. How were you? you? You're back. Yes. Mm. Mm. Welcome. Okay. How was it? Well, it was good. Okay. Did anything fun happen today? Mm. My day was okay. Just I step out to the hospital. Hospital? Are you okay? What did you doctor I say? I am fine. I just went for my usual checkup. Oh, okay. Yes. So, dinner is ready. Should I serve you now? No. No? I'm full. I'm not hungry. Ah, you're full? That means someone took you out, Iman? No, John. I just had ice cream in the office today. Mm. Ah, that reminds me. I have a new pee. New PA? Mm -hmm. Is he good looking, smart, organized? Um, somehow good looking. But anyway, he's 30 years old. <laughs> 30 years? Oh, that's two years older than you are. So, how are you guys coping? Coping? And I'm the boss. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Pardon my manners, my boss lady. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how has he been? Well, he's good. He's smart, intelligent, okay. wow. organized, but the only problem I have is where he lives. What about where he lives? And he comes from work daily. 
on the outskirts of town. Whoa. That's pretty far. Very far. Yeah. And coming from such distance, he won't be able to function properly. Well, I asked him. He said he was fine with it. <laughs> what were you expecting him to tell you? That he's not okay? Why don't you give him the space you wanted to give to John? Auntie, I don't know him. It, just as you didn't know John. He works for you. You need to keep him closer to you. Hmm? Mm. Yes. Okay. Okay now. Go upstairs and take your shower. Sure. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Come, let me take you upstairs. Huh? You are asleep. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, I want you to rest well. Mm? Mm. As usual, man. Don't you think there's a need for you to look for a place on the island? This you're going back and forth to make you fall sick. About that, funny, I just received a text from my boss as I was coming home. She told me to pack my things and move into a boy's quarters. Oh, really? Yes. Wow, thank God. But I'm surprised. Why? Because she's mean. I don't know why all of a sudden she feels the need to have any kind of concern for me. But well, if you ask me, everything is possible. Child in the kitchen. It's <sighs> more right there. I will show you. I hope I'm not making any mistake with this one. Know this your initial brother. Oh my son. She tries to act so tough. <laughs> when we all know she's as soft as the shoe. <laughs> well, I thought about it. And since I could help him, I decided to. Besides, mm -hmm. he's not staying for free. How do you mean? He has to do how she wants it. Okay. That's pretty normal. I thought you were going to say he should pay you money. <laughs> <laughs> that broke guy. Oh my god. He, he'll probably offer me his body. Ah, Sam, you're so <laughs> mean. Just oh. saying. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, why is that your gigolo boyfriend? <laughs> Sam. Hmm? Sam, don't, don't, don't do that. I don't like it. But I told you he stopped. Mm -hmm. He found true love and he stopped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, He's going to move into my house tomorrow and he's going to start work on my thing. <laughs> Babes, yeah. what if that guy is choosing you? Ah, uh, mm. he's using me, I'm using him too. <laughs> <laughs> you might be where I met you again. You love me! <laughs> <sighs> it's 
So this is it. Thank you so much, Ma. I appreciate it. It's Sam. Um, call me Sam. Thank you, Sam. But outside the work office, okay? Okay. So I have a few great rules that you need to follow. Um, which is um, you have to help around the house, especially the house chores. No problem. I'll do that. Okay, you know that I live with my aunt. She's like a mom to me, so um, the cleaner comes twice a week. Okay. I think that is it then. Alright. Oh, I almost forgot. You cannot cook in here. So, how do I get to eat? Put this food for you whenever I cook. Thank you, Mom. So, this is my aunt. Gloria. She's like a mom to me. And? Nice to meet you, Mom. This is Jason, my PA. My pleasure. But, but have, have we, we met, met before? before? Oh, oh no, 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 and you haven't met him. He's like, like a son in No, no. Let's go so that he can settle me. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, see, see you around, around Jason. Okay, Mom. Alright. See you around. Thank you and you too. Thank you. You know, I just can't thank you enough. <laughs> I only see such gestures in movies and I never knew it was going to happen to me. <sighs> thank you so much. You know, you should really stop thanking me already. I love everything I do for you because you're very intelligent. Thank you so much once more, baby. <laughs> so welcome. I was going to ask, is this lady going to get married someday? Hmm. I think it depends on the guy who's asking. Is this guy going to be rich or is he rich? Because I like money. Well, um, this guy's going to be rich. Mm. He's working towards it. Oh, okay. Mm. So he's still working towards it. So why don't we wait until he makes this money? Because I really like money. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. <laughs> I love you, baby. And I love you too. Bye, 
Okay, um... Let's go to work. All right. We're good to go now. Hey, and pick my bag. All right. Miss Sam, what would you like to have for lunch? Oh, I'm stepping out for lunch. Don't worry, Thomas. Why? Why what? Why would you step out for lunch? I always buy you lunch. So now is it a crime to go out and get my own lunch? But you never step out to get lunch. Oh. You want to go and eat lunch with him? With who? That dog-faced PA of yours, of course. Um. Thomas, what is your problem? My problem? You are my problem, Sam. Why don't you want to give me a chance? Am I not good looking enough for you? Thomas, I consider you a brother. I like you as a brother. I am not your brother, Sam. I'm not your brother. I, I, I really don't want you to brother zone me. Don't, please. I refuse. Please. Um, Thomas, please. I don't have your energy today, okay? Just go and have your lunch, please. That is not working. I must buy you lunch. Is it by force? Eh? Okay, fine. Buy me my usual. Now that's better. I'll get you your usual. With something extra, you know. I'll be right back. This man will not kill me in this office. Hey you. Mr. Thomas. So you have now become a big boy. You cannot greet. I'm sorry, Mr. Thomas. Where are you off to? Mr. Matter's office, of course. Why? I don't understand your question. Um, what don't you understand about my question? Why are you going to my wife's office? I'm taking these files to her. Mm. Give it to me, I will pass it on to her. Mr. Thomas, I am her personal assistant. Can you please allow me to do my job? If you don't mind. Thank you. This Thomas really think Miss Samantha will get him someday. My dear, everything is possible. Sorry, this one is not possible, though. That is their business, not ours. Please go to work. We have a lot to do. I swear. Yeah. Like him? Like who? Just Come on, Auntie. I don't like him. 
Why don't you like him? I don't know what you're talking about, though. Dinner is ready. Go take your shower, come down for your food. Yes, ma'am. I'm happy she likes this one. <laughs> Jason, I added more chicken for you. Sam? Well, someone has been eating extra chicken and meat. Um, thank you, Mom. Um, good night, sir, and Sam. Good night, Gloria. Good night, Good night. Sam. Why are you treating him so nicely? I guess uh, I am drawn to him because he has quite a similar life to yours. How do you mean? Oh, he was an orphan at a very tender age. Oh wow, it looks like you guys have been talking. Oh yes, I've uh, been talking. And I also knew that he was the same kind you brought to other night. What? He told you that? I am smart, son. I am. Sir, the guy is a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Are you ready to eat now? Come. Thanks. Yes, yes. I'm just remembering. Guess who I saw today? Who? Really? Yes. When? At the bar. Oh. Okay, I went there to buy something and I saw him with his wife. Heavily pregnant. Wow. So he quit the company because he was married? I wonder why men lie, though. You know, he stated while he was working the company that he was single. Meanwhile, he has. Whom he left at home and is heavily pregnant. Men. Men. And anyway, that is his business. His loss. Mm. My dear, come to the dining room if it's something good. Mm. Mm. And I hope I'm going to have extra meat and all of us are good. Let's do it. Is this a great help? <laughs> it's nothing, Mom. We're in about this much more than this. Really? Yep. Wow. And there's something else you don't know about. And what would that be? Uh, I don't know. I cook very well. <laughs> if I cook for you, eh, you lick your finger. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that means uh, you're going to cook for us one of these things. It was pleasure, I would. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Broken up alone must have been very difficult, right? Yes, it was. It was crazy. I mean, having to navigate life without the comfort connection. But I thank God he told me to do it. He was too much to push me. Hmm. And I'm here now, still grinding. How um do you and Sam meet? How do you and Sam meet? Did he tell you? Hmm? 
Then he suggested that we go out and sleep with him. Go out and meet him on Python on the square. Even though he's like for money. Uh huh. <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> and um, Sam took you in. No, I'm like. Kind of, you know, convinced us to take me home, but uh, it's good for me to just get it because she's got to help me. She knew I needed the money. But I think she was, she was just gossip right now. Why did you say so? She was just gossip. She talked to me sometimes. That, that took me. Anyways, do you like her? I said, do you like her? Mm -hmm. She's a nice woman. She's amiable. She's crazy for my type of woman. I mean, I know we're not right. So, why don't you prepare to get just me your girls today? You know, what we presented before him was magnificent. He did? Of course it was. I trust you, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So, um, what's the plan for Sam's birthday? Sam... Sam does not celebrate her birthday anymore. She has not done that since she lost her parents at the age of 18. That day is like a day for her to reflect on everything, so she loves to be alone. Yeah, I understand. Well, I and uh, Jason will be hanging out tomorrow evening. Would you want to come along? No, I want to go see mom. Is there any problem? No, we just want to do some shopping, girl stuff. In that case, uh, uh, I will send you some amount of money so you can get mom some nice stuff too. Oh, so now you're buying stuff for mom and not for me. You're like a little kid, don't worry, I'll, I'll buy for you too. That's it. Hey, oh boy, see my guy, I see how you're fresh. <laughs> man, Laurie is taking good care of you, man. My guy, the girl is honestly doing her best. See how she's sharp, my guy. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you make fresh, you make fresh, guys. <laughs> what? Man, so what's up? How's work, man? How's the new job? Man, uh, work has been good. Hmm. Oh, that's good. And yes? It's been good, been good. I mean, I saw Laurie the last time and I was asking after you, like, what's up with you guys, man? Yeah, she told me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, um, work has been quite hectic for me, but that will bless God. I understand, brother. I mean, as a big boy that you are, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, um, have you been coping in the house? How's the house like? Give me where I stay. Yeah, where you stay. 
Well, for the most part, it's been it's been good. I mean, her aunt is it's really nice. She's been so nice to me. But uh, for Samantha, I'm still trying to find a balance, brother. I'm trying to figure out like how to you know make her you know act different toward me because she's completely cold. Like I've done something to her. Why? I don't know. Are, are you the first to ever have sex for money? <laughs> but besides, you guys didn't do anything. No, we didn't. Or is it because uh, she's rich? Oh, I don't know. Like, I don't know, man. But uh, uh, even beneath the toughness, you can see that she's a very nice person, man. It's just that you know, with me, she's kind of different. Uh, but the way she talks to people, the way she treats people, she's really nice. Guys, see really talk about getting a laugh. No lie, you don't like this girl, Abby. Oh, you don't like okay, this girl. I like her, but I know she's off limits, so I mean, I don't have it on my mind, man. I don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> what? But you don't see, you know, my friend, tell me the truth. Oh, it's the truth, bro. I know they hang my clothes on my I know the rich brother. I, I just try to keep things simple, you know what I'm saying? Why? What is why? Well, um, Lori said that today is our 28th birthday. It's a mother's birthday. I didn't know today is her birthday. Lori said she doesn't celebrate since the death of her parent. Ah. Ah. Oh. Now, what do you think? Huh? What do you think? No, I just the reason something, bro. <laughs> Wait, that's not really the reason. Um, uh, um, uh, okay, don't worry, I know what to do. Sit. Sit. 
Let me see who gave it to you. Nothing expensive, uh, just uh, something I saw and I thought it would look good on you. Let me see. That's beautiful. I'm glad you like it. Sit. Thank I'm sure you must think I don't like you. That's not true. I like you. A lot. Just like the first time I brought you home. I'm sure by tomorrow morning you'll forget everything you've said. I'm not drunk. How much do I pay you? What? How much do I pay you to make love to me? Okay. Now I know you're really drunk. I will get up and go. Don't look too far. Look too far. I'm in front of you. In front of you. And I'm not ashamed to say that I'm in love with you. Be mine. Mm. Oh, be mine. Oh, be mine. Please be mine. It was nice doing business with you, Samantha. <laughs> it was nice doing business with you too. I look forward to doing business with you in the future. Sure. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right. Thank you. What's going on? I don't understand. Why are you avoiding my eyes? And you've been cold to me today. Why? I don't think I've been that way, Ma. You just stop with the Ma thing. What happened last night didn't mean anything to you? You wanted to just have sex? No, Ted. You can leave. I'm in love with you. What? Yes. I am in love with you. But I know it's a complete waste of my time. Whatever I feel for you can never be reciprocated. You're up there and I'm down here. And whatever I feel, I have to accept that. We can never be together. Whatever happened last night, I didn't want to happen because I knew it would have worsened my situation. 
I'm not saying it because I want you to be nice to me, love me. No. What are you saying? What I'm saying, Sam, is that I love you. I'm in love with you and I want to be with you. But I know you don't feel the same way for me. I don't want you to reject me. That's why I've been called. Perhaps I can reset my brain and get back to real life and understand that this is not the movies where the poor boy gets married to the rich girl. This is real life. Well. I will get back to work. Why don't you want me? I want you. I want you so bad, but you have to stop doing this to me. You have to stop making me feel like I'm your toy or like I'm your plaything. Sam, I love you. I love you. I want to be with you, but you have to stop making me feel this way. Since you don't feel what I feel, you have to stop making me feel the things that just cannot be. Things that will never be reciprocated. Please, just stop it, all right? If you don't mind, please leave my room. I know good people when I see them. Give me a chance. <laughs> Today is a very good day, man. You're welcome to the office, you look beautiful, ravishing, as always. <laughs> Thomas? Yes, ma'am. Why are you so happy today? Well, I'm so happy because my God is good. <laughs> oh, yeah? What happened? What is this? Take a look at it. Today is a very good day. Mm -hmm. 
I knew that he will definitely leave at some point, you know. Today is a very good day. It's a happy day. We should celebrate. Thomas? Yes, Miss Sam. Get out. Miss Sam? I said get out. Oh, okay. Why are you doing this, Jason? Auntie, for my sanity. Sam is punishing me. Seeing her every day without being able to be with her the way I want. It's driving me crazy. It's breaking my heart. I, I just have to leave. And you think living is the best option? Remember you worked so hard to get this job. I will find something else to do, ma'am. I will. See, Jason. Why don't you have a conversation with her first? Before leaving. I have. We are just not compatible. Say so. Why would you resign just like that? You haven't been working for five years now. Why would you just throw everything away? Thank you for the employment, Sam. And uh, I'm also grateful to you for giving me a place to stay. But this is about my dignity, self-respect. You have trampled on my dignity so many times, I, I can't take it. It has to stop, and it stops now. I love you too, Jason. I've always loved you. Look, I know I messed up and I messed you up badly. I'm sorry. I didn't intend to do that. I didn't just want to repeat the same mistakes and I needed a man that truly, truly loves me. I don't know how to joke. I really love you. I love you, Sam. I love you so, so much. I really love you. I love you too. So, can we go back to work? You left me with a drunk load of work. I know, but I will have to um, change my clothes first, okay? So is this the part where I get to see your gorgeous body? Are you flirting with me? <laughs> Am I? Are you not the boss? Are you trying? Are you trying to flirt with your employee? In front of you. In front. 